Scientists are embarking on a project to trap and DNA test Scottish wildcats in a bid to protect the iconic species. Once caught, they'll be tested to see how pure their genes are. The results will influence what actions required to help save one of the UK's most endangered animals. Nicola McCallie reports. A wildcat captured on film in the dark in the Highlands. Or is it? A pioneering project to trap the animals and DNA test them will determine whether those caught are the real deal. Over the decades, the iconic species has been in decline. These days, it's only found in five priority areas. Mixing with feral cats has seen a dilution in the wildcat genes. Now, genetic analysis will help identify true wildcats and influence what steps need to be taken to protect the species. We're at this stage in this project where we, we, we know there's very few left in the wild um, and the more we know about those last remaining cats the better um, and the, the trapping is something we we tend to do alongside the trap neuter vaccinate and release of feral cats so this is a, a big broad sweep program where we're trapping feral cats for neutering and then trapping wild cats for, for, for testing. All cats trapped will be screened for disease and scored on physical appearance such as having a thick ringed blunt tail. They'll also be DNA tested and some will be fitted with GPS collars to track their movements. The one we've set up today, we've used quail and also a bit of valerian root, which they, they really like the smell of. And those are enough to entice them in because the wild cats just won't be encouraged in by a bit of cat food, basically. It's not good enough for them. The Highland Wildlife Park in King Craig's involved in the project. Experts here say it's vital to help save the Scottish wildcat. In Scotland, has a really diverse and rich wildlife and we get millions of people coming to see that and to see the Scottish Highlands. So to have that balance in nature and for people to see and enjoy that and for future generations, we must conserve it. And it's very, very challenging, but that's what we want to do with the wildcats. The Scottish wildcat used to be found at locations right across the country, but over the decades that has changed. It's hoped that this pioneering scientific work will now help protect this iconic species for the future. Nicola McCallie, STV News.